hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel and this is your year ahead for 2021. Okay, you probably can't see all the cards, but don't worry, I'll show you as we go along. Quickly before we start, another quick plug of the book. You've probably already seen this, The Spirit Within. Uh, me and my sister co-wrote it, and if you're interested in this sort of thing, um, mediumship and development, um, this book, um, is a, there's a lot of information in there. You won't have this grey line, that's just a proof, but there's all about chakras, clairs, history of spiritualism, and our journey into development. Okay, um, I'll put a link to that in the description below a bit later. Okay, Capricorn, so in the middle here, I've put um, the King and Queen of Pentacles because you're an Earth sign, and we've got this card here, the Moon card. This is what your next year, 2021, is going to be about. Now, I believe the Moon card is about, sometimes you can't see everything, um, about seeing things more clearly. So what I felt that's trying to tell you is perhaps next year, or this year, shall I say, 2021, you are going to see things more clearly. You're going to see perhaps all sides of something. Perhaps um, it could be um, the way you behave, the way you think. Um, there could be almost like a um, aha moment. Do you know what I mean for you? That's where I feel. So this year, it's almost like there's going to be revelations revealed. Um, so let's get going on for you. So January, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so that's to do with new starts. So you really are looking forward in January to a whole new start. Could be new money. So there could be something new for you in the start of January. Like I say, new money, new start. Um, definitely is to do with money. Could be a promotion at work, could be a new job, could be something a little bit extra coming in. Okay. February, you've got the Knight of Swords. Now look at him rushing in there. So something's coming in February, something's coming in fast. Swords can be um, arguments, things like that, but knights normally, they normally represent um, like offers coming, um, information, things changing, things starting. So could it be um, this new money? Could you find out about it in January? It comes in quick in February, okay? March, here we go, Seven of Pentacles, look at you on that new path, is this when this new thing is starting? So you hear about it in January, it comes in quick in February, you start it in March. Okay, Capricorn, so 2021 so far looks really, really positive for you. Opportunities coming in and coming in quick. In April, you are celebrating and you're getting together with family and friends. You're celebrating, you're a lot happy. It certainly seems a really positive year for you, 2021 Capricorn, okay? In May, we've got the Eight of Wands. Look at you getting out there, expanding. Again, this can be work, this can be creativity, but in some way you are getting yourself out, you're expanding. It can also be travel abroad, so who knows, perhaps you will be traveling, going abroad somewhere, but in some way you are expanding your life um, further afield to where you are now. Okay, in June, it's decision time. Which way are you going? You've got the chariot, um, so you will, decide in your direction um, again does it all link in with everything um, you know this getting yourself out there in May could it be to do with work but you are in control I do feel okay in July again we've got the page of pentacles we've got possible new growth we've got new coins there um, pages um, again they are they're a good card um, so far, you've got all good cards coming up for you, um, Capricorn. So it's a really good year. New growth, new choices, new decisions, getting yourself out there. And look at August, the world. So whatever this new growth is in July, you've got the world at your feet in August. It's like you can go anywhere, do anything. Things are just coming to you. Um, you know, is this this moon card? Are you seeing opportunities where you never saw before? Our ideas coming to you which you never had before whatever it is but things are being revealed to you and things are coming Capricorn and it's all through your reading it's really really good September look at you leading the way the six of ones there you're in front you're in charge you're leading the way you are in control of your direction like we had here with the chariot so you're in full control all next year 
Now, this is the only negative card, but it may not be a negative. But October, you've got the tower. Something is going to come crashing down, some kind of major change. Again, when one door closes, another one opens. It may not be negative. Perhaps you've been building up to this. Perhaps you've been building up self-employment and you get rid of an employed job. Who knows? But October... There definitely seems to be a shaking up of something. That tower's going to shake. Things are going to come crashing down. But don't worry about it because November, you are the emperor. Now look at the emperor sat there in his throne. He doesn't look bothered. He looks like he's in full control. And if you can see here, he's holding a globe. That's like holding the world. Now again, we had the world here um, in August. So again, it's showing you, you've got full control of your world you are in full control so no matter what happens with this tower moment it's probably something you've created yourself Capricorn because all the cards throughout 2021 are telling you that you're in charge you're leading the way you're in control you've got the world and look at you sat there in your throne the emperor holding onto that globe saying do you know what this is my time okay and then in December you're sitting pretty, you feel a little bit protective, perhaps because you've just had this tower moment and you're building yourself up again. It's like you're sitting on your money and you're holding onto it tight. So well done Capricorn, you've obviously earned some money in, in uh, 2021 and you're holding onto it tight, ready as we go into 2022. Um, so what you're holding on to it for, who knows? We'll see next year. Um, are you building up to expand again? Are you building up to put it into something? Who knows? But you've built something up and you're holding on to it. So next year looks a really good year for you. You've got revelations. You've got things opening up. You've got opportunities. You've got the world. And you are in full control. So well done, Capricorn. And um, I hope you enjoyed 2021. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon.